Special treat. Susan Wexler is a mosaic artist who I've been following because I've really enjoyed her art. Well, she's been delivering workshops in Florida this week and consented to come visit our studio. And she's going to share with us how she makes this beautiful art. And welcome, Susan. Thanks. I'm so happy to be here. I understand that you have a Master's of Fine Art in costume design. Is that what um, helps inspire you to make your dresses? Um, my mom has always been right, I always listen to her advice, and it was her suggestion that I would mosaic dresses. And so now I teach them all over the world. That's wonderful. You know, I am so intrigued about your substrate and all of these cool looking materials. Can you tell us about them? I always build my own substrate so that all of my art is unique to me. This is my mini ballerina substrate made out of plastic. This is designed and sculpted by me, and then I have a local fabricator. And yes, I do sell all of my dress forms as well as my putty on my website. Coming from an art background, my process begins with my palette. This is what I've pulled together for you today. My palette is almost exclusively made up from discarded treasures that I have collected over a lifetime. I have everything organized by color and materials in my Denver studio. I begin with my focal piece. In this case, this metal rose stamping, and then I add materials to help support my focus or what I like to call my visual story. Some pearls, a little ball chain, some metal leaves, some discarded jewelry, a bracelet I'll take apart. We'll all make up the neckline of this dress. This is my focal piece. Once I have the entire dress completed, I will go back in with paint to antique the newer pieces like this that I'm using. I do have a mini online class on my website with this technique. Not enough time to show you now. I chose to use this focal at my neckline, but it can be used on the waistline as well. Either placement works. I just want to make sure I have a strong focal and that that is where I begin my work. Next, I do a rough sketch with a 3D layout on a flat piece of paper just to plan out where everything is going to go. The, the putty dries in one hour, so once I mix it up, I have to work quickly, which is the other reason I do a rough sketch to figure out my plan. 